This live self-defense discussion and tutorial, we'll be using a homemade self-defense tool, the self-defense walking stick. This is the 36 cent stick. This is a dowel that I got from the local hardware store, sanded it down, made it really smooth, put a bunch of oil on it, some mineral oil, soaked it overnight, wiped it off, and now it's more flexible than it is when you get it at the store, and you're able to use it for self-defense by thrusting, by slashing, by pushing, and we're gonna go over that right now. Now, 36 inches is the standard length of most walking sticks that you would use, that you might get at the store, that would look more fancy than this. So what you can do is you can practice with your self-defense homemade walking stick and either carry this with you, it's a perfect tool for self-defense that you can carry with you, or use a regular walking stick during the day, but train with this one so you don't beat up your walking stick. Make sure that if you do use a walking stick for self-defense, it's very strong like this one is. Now, the first thing I want you to see is you would have your weight on it and there are two ways you're going to slide your hand down to pick it up. The first one is sliding your hand behind it so that you can lift it up here. Then immediately you can thrust into the face and bring the backside around like that. You can bring it to the other hand, thrusting through almost like a bayonet attack with a rifle. You can bring the backside through here, bring the front side through here, strike down on top like a sword or like a machete. Thank you, Studer. I appreciate that $20 donation. This has got to be a short one though. You guys are so awesome. I wanted you to see the homemade walking stick, homemade self-defense walking stick that you can make out of a, and I got this on sale. It was half price. They're normally seven bucks for an oak dowel at Lowe's. I got it for half that, plus about 30 cents of sandpaper and pennies worth of oil. And I let it soak. I've been soaking this one. This is the one I showed you a couple weeks ago. I showed you how to make your own. So from here, your hand slides down and then you're in this ready position. From the ready position, you can immediately respond by thrusting almost like you're punching with a vertical punch in into the face. Think about taking this one into the throat, into the face. Hello, Brandon, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back in school. We hope it's going well for you this year. Sliding it down, thrusting straight in. First motion is a thrust. Second motion, bringing it through, slashing, striking, coming down at an angle or coming on the other side. And that's that figure eight spin that you can practice. This is also known as a Japanese hanbo. It's just a 36 inch martial arts staff, also known as a walking stick. You can slide your hand down the front and then in this position, turn and put it between yourself and the threat. That's the threat. I can now thrust with this in my hand and because of the oil and because of the material, this oak, this homemade self-defense tool, I can get a really good grip here as I thrust. And because I'm aiming this hard piece of wood at their soft tissue, teeth, nose, throat, looking for things that I can remove or destroy with my homemade walking stick, my homemade self-defense walking stick, I'm just going straight through the middle. Then from here, bring it around your shoulder. You can strike from one side, you can strike the other way, strike down on top, but always strike from the shoulder and out. And you can hear it moves very fast, it hits very strong. From here you can also put the other hand on it, almost like you're doing push-ups, and thrust in here, slide your hands into the middle, striking to the side of his head, into the neck, into the joints, the shoulders, the elbows, into the body, into the ribs, you can go down, into the knees, you can bring the backside through, change positions, hold it in from your chest and go straight in through the face. So it's a very hard piece of wood, oak, creating maximum amount of self-defense damage on the threat. So let's go over that re review real quick because we're running out of time very quickly. I can hold it here like I'm holding a walking stick, I'm leaning on it, my hand either slides down the back or it slides down the front. Both ways are correct. One way is not better than the other. Practice, you should practice both. Practice here, get in a better position. Practice here, get in a better position. The third way that you might carry it, if you're not putting your weight on it, is you might be carrying your stick right in the middle. So you're, and I see this every single day in my neighborhood. There are two men in their 70s who have dogs 
they walk. They both had an experience with other dogs in the neighborhood attacking their dogs and the owner of the other dogs being difficult to handle, difficult to deal with. They carry a stick. One carries a, uh, uh, a, a sledgehammer handle, you know, like an oak or a hickory handle. The other one's carrying a stick like this. And I don't know if they have any training, but they're carrying it and their intention is if a dog comes up to mess with their dog, they're gonna hit him with it. They're gonna hit the other person with it. Now I'm not advocating that. I'm just giving an example of how these are used every single day. I see them all the time. You would carry it in your hand like this. When the threat comes in, it's always about putting the stick between you and the threat, especially if he has a knife. I don't know. I'm going to bring my hand here, either turning my palm up so that it comes into the other hand. Now I can put it between me and the threat. Thrusting, slashing or chopping, all these different angles. I can come through horizontally. I can go down into the knee, down on top of the head. I can thrust and lift them up. I can also slide my hands to the other side using the back side to come through. I can thrust in that way all from here, turning it into the other hand. I can also turn it the other way. Now this is back to that two-handed push-up position. So you can come here or this. William says, I like that. Reminds me of Shoto. Shoto doesn't mean knife, knife hand. Um, I, I assume that's what you mean. Yes, I agree. From here, coming into this position, striking here, striking down, striking up, changing hands, see how I slid my hand through, striking from the other side, striking down, lifting them up right between the legs from here. Maybe he's got that hand, he's punching, he's hitting, snapping this up here, and then follow through by coming down or coming down to the bottom, coming through, thrusting back in. So many things that you can do and it's extremely inexpensive. It's a homemade self-defense tool. It's just a walking stick also known as the Japanese Hanbo. Yeah, James says sharp edges too. And yes, look at that, that bevel, that edge there, going into the nose, into the teeth, into the throat. That's the point, this is oak, that's harder than flesh. That's harder than my eyeballs or his eyeballs and his eye socket. So that's how you use it. Real simple, real basic, quick review, slide down the back, get in this position, slide down the front, turn it into this position or carry it in your hand and you can either come up to an alternating grip, palms facing different directions or turn it over and have it in this position. Get them out of your face, a quick thrusting motion. Box them to the ears, right? Thrust, knock them to the ground. That's the self-defense walking stick. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you.